Rebecca from Mother Earth News Magazine and I'm going to talk a little bit about pesticide drift because we have a number of readers who are concerned about it and is there anything they can do to uh, protect their property and themselves from it. Pesticide drift is a problem. When pesticides are sprayed in one area they can drift onto another or neighboring area um, and it can damage your plantings. For example, you'll see yellowing foliage, uh, leaves with damage on one part and not another, cupped leaves, downward turned leaves, all of those are symptoms of pesticide drift. Drift from non-herbicide pesticides can also be a problem, but it's more difficult to identify. In some states, the Department of Agriculture can help you identify whether or not pesticide drift has affected your plantings, but testing can be pretty costly in the laboratory. Pesticide drift can also pose a problem to human health. Uh, for example, you could have recurring headaches, uh, loss of appetite, and other maybe long-term negative effects caused by exposure to pesticides drifting onto your property. If you know that you've been exposed to pesticide drift and are concerned about your health, you really should see a doctor. Document the problem and then file a report with both the National Pesticide Information Center and the lead public health agency in your state. Press the staff to conduct an investigation that includes taking samples for pesticide residues. Pesticide drift is illegal in most states, but proving who's responsible for it can be very difficult. Scientists with the Pesticide Action Network have developed an air monitoring tool called the Drift Catcher that they're working to deploy in areas across the country. The drift catcher has been used to document the presence of pesticide residue in schools, homes, and farms. And the people who live in those places have used that evidence to fight for change in their areas. Contact the Pesticide Action Network to learn more about the drift catcher and also visit the PAN website to learn more about how to detect pesticide drift in your area. So take action and go to the Mother Earth News website for a little bit more information on what you can do about pesticide drift.